What is up everybody, welcome back to World of Tanks, where I am continuing my mini-series about tier 10 light tanks. At the start of this week I had other plans for my episode ideas, but when I saw that I am able to test out tier 10 light tanks on Sandbox server, this is what I am going to do. And I have only two more light tanks to test out. In today's episode you are going to see tier 10 light tank from America, XM551 Sheridan. And uh, tomorrow, most likely tomorrow, you are going to see WZ1321, tier 10 Chinese light tank. You have already seen T100 LT, uh, Rhine Metal Wanderwagen and AMX13105 in action. Uh, but uh, today, as I said, let's focus on XM551 Sheridan. And guys, as you can see from the picture, Derp Gun is not going to leave you. Derp Gun that was on T49 is going to be on tier 10 Sheridan. But I have to tell you that at the moment I am not uh, so happy over the specs of the gun in tier 10 position. But you have to keep in mind this is sandbox test server where we are testing out ideas and Wargaming is looking for your feedback. So if you have anything to say at the end of the episode, leave your comment under this video down below. But uh, ladies and gentlemen, let's get going and let's start with Detectory. Let's see what they did over here. Uh, starting from tier 8, we can find M41 Bulldog, that was tier 7 light tank. Uh, you have two gun options, um, uh, 76mm, both 76mm, one is M32, second one is M32 late. Uh, minor differences, uh, you have a little bit better rate of fire, you have a little bit better accuracy and all the rest of the stats are the same. But you have to get this top gun anyways, because this leads uh, into the T49. And now top speed changes 68 to 24 engine power 800 horsepower engine on 23.5 tons heavy tank is really really good so this tank is going to move around on the battlefield like crazy for tier 8 light tank after earning 100 1200 experience so wow what a difference so I guess uh, the experience economy has to change a little bit because um, in my previous episode about AMX uh, 13105 we saw that you had to earn 200,000 experience with patch at 12T to get tier 9 AMX 1390. So yes, I guess experience economy is going to be changed uh, most likely. And next up in the tier 9 position we are going to have uh, old tier 8 T49 and yes guys T49 is going to lose its derp gun. Uh, the only gun over here is 90mm with uh, fairly decent stats actually, 10.6 rate of fire, 10.6 uh, rounds per minute, uh, 212 penetration, 250 width premium uh, rounds, uh, 240 average damage, uh, 2.5k average damage per minute, 0 0.4 accuracy, mm, not huge fan, but 2.3 second aiming time is, well for light tank is kinda okay, if uh, uh, for tier 9 light tank is kinda okay, if I'm going to compare it to all the rest of the light tanks. AMX 1390 has 2.7 second aiming time for example, but uh, this is T49 with no derp gun, 840 uh, horsepower engine, 22.8 tons heavy tank, 65 and 24 uh, top speeds, uh, 36.85 specific power. Okay, yeah, minus 10 degrees of gun depression. So this gun is actually quite okay, yep. But T49 without a turp gun. But you do not have to be mad or sad because the exact same gun is going to be on tier 10 Sheridan. XM551 Sheridan. Over here you have two gun options. But for the start I have to say that I am actually disappointed of the original gun stats. Uh, I guess... As this is sandbox server, I guess uh, what Wargaming did is they took tier 8 gun and they simply slammed it into the tier 10 position without changing anything. So I am almost 100% sure that this gun is going to get buffed because at the moment this gun is with the exact 
same stats as in tier 8 position. Exactly the same rate of fire, uh, penetration, uh, damage values, uh, accuracy, aiming time, everything is exactly the same as on T49 in tier 8 position at the moment. So, as I said, I'm almost sure that this tank or this gun is going to be changed, buffed a little bit. Like, uh, this gun needs a better rate of fire, this gun needs a little bit better accuracy and a tiny pinch of buff into the aiming time as well. All the damage values, penetration values, uh, please do not touch that, because uh, turret guns, they do not need to be that OP in this game, in my opinion at least. Uh, but uh, the second gun option is actually pretty sexy guys, 105 or 105mm lightweight gun uh, with uh, following stats, 6.52 rounds per minute, 236 penetration, 280 with premium rounds, uh, 390 average damage, which is really good, 0.4 accuracy, among other tier 10 light tank guns, uh, it seems to be kind of average, and 1.9 second aiming time, which is really good for tier 10 light tank and to be honest i liked 105 millimeter gun 10 times more than this 152 millimeter derp gun 18.2 second reload time with my equipment over 3000 average damage per minute yes one damage over 3000 average damage per minute uh, 0.53 accuracy 3.16 second aiming time so i'm able to get them uh, down a little bit with my equipment uh, my loadout my crew members and food, uh, but um, just take a look at this. 18.2 second reload time, yes. 7.3 second reload time. So if you pull the trigger at the same time with 105 gun and with derp gun, that means with 105 gun you are able to fire two more rounds while derp gun is still reloading. So a lot better all around gun and gun handling stats are not too bad. As well, with my equipment, 8.24 rounds per minute, 7.3 second reload time, minus 10 degrees of gun depression, 20 degrees of gun elevation, 1.67 aiming time, which is just super awesome, 0.35 accuracy and 3215 average damage per minute. So overall firepower and gun handling of this tank is respectable. Next up, survivability, hit points, 1600 hit points, uh, which is uh, the highest amount of hit points among other Jerton light tanks. Uh, same with uh, RHM Panzer Wagen. Uh, hull armor, uh, 14, 31, 12, turret armor, 38, 15 and 15, so no armor whatsoever. Now, I am not 100% sure, but it feels like it has some spaced armor, especially in the front, as you can see, it feels like uh, spaced armor. It is really hard to penetrate this tank with HG rounds. I have tried it uh, when I played around with a uh, gun, a turp gun on Sheridan shooting at other Sheridans. Uh, so don't quote me on that, but it simply feels like it. Uh, so overall armor, overall survivability, high amount of HP among other tier 10 uh, light tanks, but uh, no armor whatsoever. AP and APCR rounds have no problems penetrating this tank. Uh, mobility 16.2 tons heavy tank, engine power 550 horsepower engine, 34.01 specific power, 65 top speed, 22 reverse speed and tank reverse speed 56.88 with my equipment and loadout. And uh, I believe I can put uh, the share size of this tank under the mobility as well. This tank is huge. As Donald Trump would say, this tank is huge. Uh, because it is from America. Comparing to the WC-132, for example, just look at the profile difference. And compared to the T-100LT... <laughs> Okay, this tank is ridiculously low profile, but it is actually almost the same size with uh, Rhine Metal Panther Wagon, as you can see. So the size is, yeah, it is kind of sluggish light tank. And I am not a huge fan of the speed, uh, not huge fan of the engine power, specific power, top speed 65. So mobility of this tank, among other, compared to the other tier 10 light tanks, once again, is... Uh, decent or average at the best.
Apart from moving on, concealment is the worst out of all the other tier 10 light tanks. Uh, stock concealment value 14.48 compared to the AMX 13105s 21.18 for example or T100 LTs 22.84 is kinda bad. But uh, with uh, two 100% concealment crew members and one 9% concealment crew member skills, uh, I'm able to get it up to... where are you? I'm I'm able to get it up to 25.8 and of course uh, cola is helping it as well because it is boosting my crew members my crew member efficiency and next up spotting without uh, coated optics with brothers in arms with situational awareness uh, with uh, ventilation and food my view range is 475 but the stock view range of this vehicle is 420 and why I am not wasting my equipment slot for pinos or coated optics or for camo net is because this tank has a fairly bad stock concealment. It is huge tank. I don't think I'm going to do much spotting with this sitting in the bushes. I believe I'm going to use this tank as a combat light tank. More like a combat light tank. Just my personal playstyle, I guess. Simply because it is huge for uh, a spotter, T100 LT is sneaky, is sneaky little bugger, AMX 13 105 sneaky little bugger, uh, but this tank, yes, it is more like a medium tank with no armor. But uh, this is XM551 Sheridan on paper, first stats at least on sandbox test server. I'm pretty sure that a lot of things are still going to change. Uh, now let's take a look at one battle as well with 105mm gun. Let's go. And this time I welcome you all to Karelia. Luckily no secret line today. And uh, hello to you as well good sir Sigans or Sigans11 in the chat. Sorry I didn't see your message while I was playing the game. Now the start of this battle was just, just ridiculous guys. Take a look at this. I can see enemy TVP T5051 who is trying to run away. I cannot see him anymore but... We didn't penetrate tier armor, but I was able to hit him. He was out from my view range, but my next shot... 405 damage done, enemy is hit, same goes to that Sheridan, he was also out from my view range, but I was able to hit him. Two shots in a row, what do you know, hacks smells like hacks, or what do you think guys? Yeah. Anyways, I can see T1 to any 5 Most likely that shot was a hit if I am lucky enough. Uh, that shot even dragged him, but uh, no vision anymore. And I did knock down that tree in front of me on purpose because this is going to provide me uh, some extra cover. Once again, trying to hit a few of my shots blindly across the map because uh, Sheridan and uh, TVP T5051 are over there on the other side of the map. Uh, T1 5 needs one more shot. I was able to hit him for 410 damage, which is not too bad. And I did get all the assistance for that as well. So over 2000 combined damage done already from this position is not too bad. And I believe one blind shot into the T1 e 5 as well. But as we can see, our teammates were able to kill enemy Sheridan and the only enemy tank left uh, in the west side of the map is TVP. But uh, two T100 LTs are able to eat him alive, I am pretty sure. So let's go up the hill, AMX 13 105 spotted, one quick shot into him and sadly he was able to put one quick shot into me as well. But I did three more damage uh, to him than he did to me, so I win that raid. Thumbs up. And ouch, that arty shot actually scared me. I had to use both of my repair kits, uh, my large uh, first aid kit and my large repair kit to get away from that position but uh, the good news is after T92 took the shot he got spotted and killed by my teammates uh, by our AMX 13 105 and I changed my plans a little bit uh, at first I wanted to go up the hill but uh, when I saw that AMX 50B and Foch 155 are going up the hill I decided to go for the enemy artillery and what do you know object 261 spotted quick shot into him and this guy is not going to do anything he is literally okay take me to Valhalla please please be gentle 
Uh, he wasn't that gentle actually. I was pretty rough, guys. Yes, uh, second artillery spotted. Uh, Conqueror, gun carriage. I missed my first shot, sadly. And uh, this guy is going to fire on the move and he's going to miss by a mile. And our 13 105 once again was able to pick up the kill. So Leopard 1, I was able to dodge that shot. Leopard 1 most likely is going to use that rock in front of me. Uh, between me and him, so yes, exactly what he's going to do. But I am still waiting for him to make a mistake, and yes, he made one mistake. 322 damage into the pooper. And uh, from here you can see the difference between this gun and turp gun. With turp gun you are not able to be that aggressive, you are not able to uh, deal that much damage in that short amount of time, and you rely on RNG if you are even going to hit your shots with turp gun. So uh, turp gun on Sheridan definitely needs some buffs. And uh, our JPZ100, uh, shout out to you, yes I am a noob, <laughs> so once again, hello. I didn't see your message when I was playing this game, but uh, not too bad battle, or what do you think guys, 105mm gun is actually working on this tank. So I was able to pick up Confederate uh, with uh, 3000, close to 3300 damage done, so third by damage and uh, second by experience, if I can see that, or first by experience, yes, first by experience. And uh, some damage to my assistants as well. So this was XM551 with 105mm gun. But, ladies and gentlemen, I am afraid that is it. This was XM551 Sheridan. Uh, I really do hope that they are going to do something to the turp gun, they are going to buff gun handling uh, a little bit uh, when you are using turp gun and I hope they are going to do something to the mobility as well, maybe a little bit better engine, like 800 horsepower engine, maybe, uh, should do the work and uh, top speed limit should be 70, 72, around that area, in my opinion. Uh, but let me know what you think about this tank. I really do hope you enjoyed today's episode. I catch you next time. Take care and bye.